there everyone, and welcome back to TNO The Losses of Europe. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and right now, oh hell, Mocha Liba, in which I've gone ahead and it's June 2nd, 1976, and I've basically already used Khan's commands to take out pretty much all of West Africa. I figured why not. I did forget to take out Andorra, someone did remind me. So, uh, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that very soon, but at this point, besides Andorra, I don't think, well, I guess technically we probably take out the Pope, right? Yeah, we gotta get a little Pope action in here, and in one of these other states, was it Urbino or something like that? San Marino, so we got three states, city states, literally, to take out. Other than that, the Iron Pact is looking pretty darn nice, not gonna lie, but it's time to do what we, like we did last episode. <sighs> last time was Burgundy, we got some comms to go through as well, but now it's time for a little bit of Japanese action, shall we? I'll be honest, I can't remember if I've uh, read this one before, but the time for waiting is over. Now is the time for men... Fighting men. For warriors, the world will watch closely for the balance of powers about to drastically shift permanently. The sun's about to set on the Empire of the Rising Sun, and its place will rise Iron Eagle the Reich. Our pans are itching to blitz cross Manchurian plains, and who are we to stop them? It's well time the Reich puts the Japanese in their place once and for all to your German comrade Sieg, the mm -mm, H E I L. You fight for your homes, family, and Reich. You, you, your people demand nothing short of Enzig, which I know I read yesterday, but we flip China and its puppets. And they fight the Japanese fear, so we're going in immediately. So we'll see what happens. Also, we also have our ships over here ready to go, so... And... Give it literally, like, a single day. So right now, here's here's what it looks like. Give it a single day. And now, World War III. I demolish my bridges behind me, then there's no choice but to move forward. I'm just waiting to see if there's anything there. Yeah, sounds like there is. ASMR in the first like two minutes of this video but anyways so anyways let's let it go on so um not bad really not bad uh hopefully we can do well here obviously we might betray a few guys here and there who else is none of the faction so all of these is in the, these this is in the faction which is pretty darn good seize the sphere more than a few members of Japan's sphere have been hesitant in assisting the Japanese they stand by but those will likely not be for long even now the Japanese are exerting all the influence they have to marshal their subjects and get their soldiers to the front lines we have an excellent opportunity on our hands if we act fast we may be able to convince a number of these members to abandon Japan completely enjoy our cause in exchange for freedom money weapons or whatever else they want all right so let's see what happens um as you can see like the Japanese still have like taken over a lot of territory here oh well, we'll probably go to war them soon enough anyways, but... Sure, guys, you want to join us? Yes, yes. Azad Hin, very nice, very nice. We'll see what happens as our fleet are trying to do the best against the Japanese Navy, probably. Uh, we do have to go to war with these guys, too. We'll see what happens down here as well. Uh, they do have some Japanese guys down here, I thought, as well, which kind of sucks, but whatever. There we go. There we go. They're, they're fighting each other, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Um... Uh, that's pretty laggy there. Holy crap. I want you to help him out. Okay, wow. It's extraordinarily laggy. Can you actually get in there? Good. Just beat up those guys. So just beat them up. Nice. There you go. There you go. You like to see it. You like to see it. Wow, it's extraordinarily laggy. I can't wait till these guys are dead so it won't be super laggy, but still. Um, help out in there, maybe. Oh, you can't even get it that way, huh? That's weird. Okay. Well, whatever. Um, do the best you can. Manchukuo is not on her side, but other than that, that's not too. That's really not too bad, actually. That's actually pretty good for us. Oh, are you not in the war? Oh, they might not be in the war, actually. We hua, what do we call them? Hui. Oh boy. Oh, they actually have naval bombers here. That's not good for us. That's really not good for us. Oh, that's very bad. I do not like that. But then again, we're trying to invade down here. Oh my gosh. Wait, what just happened here? Okay, I can get along with that. Uh, task force has been sunk. Great. Um, who declared war on us? Was anyone that we really care about? Uh, no. Oh, Guinea Bissau. Isn't that over here? Oh. Okay then. Uh. All right. So I guess we'll deal with that later on. 
There you go. Good luck with that. Sure, guys. If you all want to join a war against the fearsome Gennivisal folk, so be it. And holding on interest. So, some comments. Also, I did do one of the focuses called Rebuild the Preussische Kriegs Academy, which increases the power and influence and loyalty of, you know, the Schoenreit faction, which is, you know, it's kind of okay, but I don't want to do it too much. Just just one time. So, we'll get, I'll read that focus uh, pretty soon, but... Someone said there's supposed to be a Rex Commissariat when the city-states in the capital... There's supposed to be a Rex Commissariat city-state in the capital of Algeria, which we'll see in just a little bit. I did do... Which one was it? Up here. This one. This serve the Reich as a general of the Wehrmacht is a dream of every brave boy in the nation. Well, being an officer requires outstanding abilities only a few will ever possess. To help achieve chief such a dream, we shall restore the old Prussian staff college to provide aspiring officers with proper education and training, as well as becoming imbued with the necessary skills to become a graduate and provide the youth with great prestige and fame. So sort of right to us at city state. So we'll see what happens eventually. So uh, Algeria, Algeria. Yeah, I don't know, man. Algeria is actually part of the group here. So I don't know. It is what it is, I guess. How can we not go to war with these guys? I will use cons commands if we have to. Oh my goodness, that looks so bad. Oh, there's a navy. Nice. Look at that. Not bad so far. We sink an improved carrier hole. Come on, keep it up, baby. Keep it up. No ship loss on the side. Come on, please, please, please. Oh, it's looking good for us. It's looking muy bueno. Oh, there goes Laos. Nice! And we thought our navy was bad. Of course, we'd have a lot of planes, but still. Still. I'll go ahead and you go right there. But you go right there. I want you all to go ahead and repair. This gets very laggy when you get the navy involved, so that's fine with us. How many men have we lost, actually? 500 versus 169,000 in total. For the enemies, of course. Um... Please, let's just let us go to war with these guys, please. How are we doing over here? Why can we not go to war with Tibet? Going rogue. With the planes, planes finally dropping below the clouds, Shona can now finally see the beautiful city of Pudnaka, the capital of Bhutan. It's too bad by the time Shona is done with it, the city will be in ruins from all the fighting. But the, uh, the thought of the magnificent battle and the following prestige gained from it knows the sadness of destroying such a historic city for him. But he cannot ponder any longer as the doors had opened and the parachutes were deployed, thousands of elite soldiers descending upon the city. And Shona waited for five minutes before beginning to think that something was wrong. Why was there no gunfire sounds? Were they using all suppressors? Wasn't even even that would make sense as there wasn't any flashes of barrels going off. Shona demanded that the helicopter he was in be landed to see what was happening. What happens if all his men were dead? The thought turned his mood from confused and worried. Surely he wasn't about to die by some Bhutanese militia. When he got to the ground, his fears weren't true. But then he realized the reason why. There wasn't any boots any soldiers there. As men were walking around, still tense, but knowing that there wasn't any resistance, apart from the few bad looks from the natives, a soldier rushed up to Shorn and told him how he had found notes from a barracks, which said that all soldiers must get ready for extraction to fight the dramatic menace on the front lines. Shorn slumped with disappointment, with his dream of a great victory to prove himself to goring dead in the water. But Shorn couldn't show this, as his men were still watching. There will be other opportunities, and we just have to wait. And so he strained up and began to shout orders. All right, men, we have secured the city. Now let's take what we need to get ready for the next operation. Not the most helpful action you could, could have taken. He is once again robbed of glory. Oh, is that good or bad? Um, he's absolute approval. Alright, well, I guess we'll see what happens. Uh-oh, oh crap. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Please don't lose. Oh. Oh, we lost a lot of cruisers. That sucks. Yeah, probably the one we tried to send over here, but whatever. Alright, follow it up with... Burn the tinder boxes. Our opposition is fierce, to say the least. The Japanese fight nearly as fiercely as their own men. We're paying a heavy price in blood as we make our advance. When a titanic land struggles waged, the Japanese home islands remain curiously untouched. In Japan proper, the cities are kilometers upon kilometers of vast suburbs with densely populated city centers and massive industrial parks. These buildings will all have a common theme. The vast majority of the building materials used across Japan is wood. Entire homes are made out of little more than wood and paper. But our intelligence tells us this. This creates an environment that is especially vulnerable to strategic bombing. Their cities are little tinderboxes, and all it would take to set them off is a well-placed firebomb. Ooh, I like the firebombs. Firebombs are nice. Keep going, guys. I, bit, I did build like a, quite a few things up here, so... Um, one out of 90. So what are you taking so long for? One day? Two days? That's not bad. Actually, that's pretty darn good. That type of repair is really fast, which is really good, so... We'll see what happens. Um... Uh, oh, we actually did make. Look at that. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. You get a pat on the back. A for effort. A for effort. Check the sphere. No, we're so good. 
Your neutrality is not accepted. Japan is dying. Sphere will die with it. Oh, good world, Mexico. There we go. Nice. Not accepted. State of Burma. Nope. Tibet. Nope. All right. We're getting a naval invader in southern China, which is fine. Whatever. No one cares. Japanese folly. No one cares. What happened over here? Oh, we lost that lacquer. God dang it. That sucks. Whatever. All right. Not bad. Could be better. Could be worse. We're attacking these guys from two sides now, basically. So, Dhaka will be ours. Very, very nice. Look at that. Hey, all the government is gone. Yay! As it rightfully should be. Come on, guys. There's only two divisions here. They're not out of supply yet, but whatever. If you want to read about better agriculture methods, please go ahead. For this bread, we thank thee. Modern agriculture and Goring's lovely little system here. Unleash the SLBM. Now's not the time for restraint. We must be willing, ready to exhaust any tactics to win this war. Look at... Oh, my gosh. Our U-boats that lurk under the seas are a fearsome weapons platform. Modern U-boats, in addition to the torpedoes, have an arsenal of ballistic missiles that specialize in hitting land-based targets. The time to make use of this potent, potent weapon is now. We shall authorize the Kriegsmarine captains to start to surface and launch their deadly payloads on important targets of our opportunity across the shores of the sphere. 50% more sub-attack. Jesus Christ, that's OP. That really is OP, as some might say. Offensively penetrative. No, overpowered. Not not penetrative. Hmm. Hmm. Really get your noggin jogging. Oh, that sucks. We lost one, but we did sink three of them, so. That's kind of fair-ish. We lost an attack sub, which sucks, but hey. Oh, okay, we lost more subs. That's not good. They have a lot of they have a lot of heavy cruisers, huh? Um thank you. Guys, please go in. There we go. Now we can go in proper. So then we can start getting some planes out here so we can really just start bombing the enemies. Look how laggy it gets. Now the comment was, let's see, we're here to liberate the French and Belgians from Burgundian terror. Yeah, we can put it like that. Why not? Totally. And someone says, Slovakia already has some Germanization and should be able, to, and we should be able to annex them. Someone else said that it, it, if Slovakia complies, they get to live? So, it is what it is. Let's see. Take a look at Slovakia real quick. Slovakia. Um, it's Slovak. I think it's someone... I don't think it's Slovakian. Oh, it's Hungarian over there. Um, yeah, these guys actually have a core state. Not over here, though. I think someone was thinking that. It's actually Slovenia. Um, that actually is partially Germanized already, so... So, a crane issue. It's a product of German colonization in Carnola. Which I think is awesome. And Northern Italian. So, it is what it is. I'd love to have more colonization here, but whatever. That's a lot of the divisions, not gonna lie. Um, oh, and the rest of our allies are coming. That's fine. Cool. You guys head over here, actually. The Japanese really did send all of their army in here, didn't they? That's alright with us. As they should have. And Tibet's gonna die. Burma's gonna die. And they're all just gonna die, 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 which is great. Uh, since we're here, anyways, we have a lot of ships here, which is fine. Do we have any more planes? Ooh, no, not right there, no. But how about we get some air bases around here? Any air bases? There's one here. We could use that one. Why not? Alright, so. Got some early jet fighters. Uh, do anything for a hundred or so. We've got, wow, that's a lot of attack helis. I like that a lot. There you go, do that. Or do this one, technically, because they have a lot of sh uh, planes in there. A lot of ships, actually. Uh, I'm going to wait for some of the stuff. Ooh, and you guys over here, too. Fighters. I get like a hundred or something. There you go. They're really trying to navel bay, but the bombing, once we get our bombing runs going, it'll be really good. Alright, there goes Tibet. Goodbye, Tibet boys. Oh, we lost a lot of subs, but we kind of renewed that some. Um, y'all have done a great job. So y'all, now we're going to go down to here. No. Y'all going to go down to here. There you go. Nice. Good, 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 good. Sejuan has been called in. Very nice. You guys are actually on the line now, which is very good to see. And now we're starting to attack a lot of transports, convoys, all that good stuff. That's, oh, boy, that sucks. Three more subs sunk. That sucks. Losses, how many losses? A thousand versus quarter million? Not bad. Pretty good. That's pretty darn nice, not gonna lie. Oh, look at that heavy cruiser has been sunk. How many ships does Japan actually have? I love that we actually don't need a navy. We can just go from... Pusan, Fusan, Busan, Fusan, whatever it's called, all the way into Japan proper. I love it. Our moment. We'll see what happens. They're out of manpower. Wow. Okay. They have up to 95 divisions. Their navy is still probably pretty. 400. That's a lot. That is a lot. I'm not going to lie. That is a lot. 
Go ahead and unleash the SLBM, which will give us uh, hopefully a little more strength. There's nothing else there, so I'm not going to do the other focuses then. We're going to wait. Destroyer, only two destroyers now. Um, two more destroyers, followed up with two, another destroyer. It's not bad. We're doing quite well, I'd say. Quite well. Quite, quite, quite well. I get that little piece of territory as well. Nice. Oh, you guys done? No, you ain't. No, you ain't. Y'all are done too? That's fine with us for now. Um, you guys are doing okay as well. I would like to throw you here though, like realistically. Like just get into Japan proper. There was a common thing that if you don't disable mad, um, you literally would die. Like we would literally spawn World War Three no matter what, so it is what it is. Seriously, if you guys can go fast enough, you don't have to deal with any of the resistance and such, so. Alright. A little bit of lag, okay. Oh, who's this? Republic of China? Cool. Oh, we're doing great. Look at that. Um, anything else over here? Nice. Oh, we do have some stuff, though. Starve them out. With Manchukuo and Guangdong in our hands, Japan will be on a timer. It will be quickly apparent that without these two vital regions, the Japanese economy might grind to a halt. Without the raw materials or foodstuffs that the sphere of countries on the mainland provide, Japan's warfare will simply not be able to sustain itself. Our men must hold fast, and seek us a hand. One last push, and victory's ours. Do it for the fatherland. For the Germans everywhere, see Heil. Oh, look at that supply line's cut. That's really bad for them. Can we get one only clouds remain? Gentlemen, a moment of silence for the fallen, for without them we would not have achieved Ensig. Observers said we couldn't do it. The Japanese were too well entrenched in Asia. They had too many men. The position's too entrenched. The Germans could never move the necessary materials that far east. They wouldn't have the plans, the planes, to control the skies or the boats to contest the seas. All those, those fools, those naysayers were wrong, for today the Reich stands victorious over the Japanese Empire. We have done it. The sun is set on Japan. Total victory is ours. We have achieved Ensig. Germany's humbled a country that many consider unbeatable, especially in their own backyard. This day shall go down in history as the greatest victory yet. Asia belongs to the Vatalan. Just very soon. Not yet, but very, very soon. Um, honestly, like, at this point... Oh, yeah, civilian budget boost is fine. Send them all down here. We can, because we can. We'll do it, because we can. Why not? Nice. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. That's actually not too bad. I mean, they're only, like, screens and such, so... Star of a Mouth is always good to do. 15 convoys, 20 convoys, 22 convoys. God dang, son. That is brutal. Oh, and that guys are just... Oh, yes, daddy. Nice. Tsushima will be ours. There goes Laos. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and send these guys down to um, Africa. I think Africa would be probably best. Uh, no resistance because I am forced them to do that. That's fine. You guys go over there if you can, whenever you can. You guys are fine. Should have sent you instead, but whatever. Um, yeah. Let's wait. Are we in? Oh, we're in. Nice. Go, boys, go. Japan is completely open. Wide open. All their divisions are not here. What are, the, are their divisions, my friends? Oh, we found some. Yeah, we found a few in Hiroshima. We didn't nuke them. Holy crap, this is really cool. Look at Burma too. I wasn't even paying attention. Look how fast Oh I love it. Oh I just I just love it. Oh, they're about to capitulate. Oh yes, please. Oh yes, daddy. Tokyo's already ours. Look at uh, it's just like a very fast cancer operating here. And the gun! We don't even need all the islands. And Nippon Gipasu. Cool. Well, there goes GGR. Do we Oh, it's highly recommended you switch to two to three game speed? Wait. Wait, what? I hope not. Wait, do we not release anybody here? Um, hmm. Okay. Very weird. But okay. I hope we can naval invade successfully. I don't like doing naval invasions, but there's not that many different little groups here, so I think we should be okay doing it like this. Right, and there you go too. We should be good enough for that, right? All right, only clouds remain. Wait, does it still exist? Oh, who do, okay, who's the major power then? Here, if we need anything here, just make some convoys. I don't really care. Um. Oh, 
Oh, look at this. That Italian Social Republic. Philippines. I guess technically they're still there, but they still capitulated, so... Um... It's kind of hard to tell. Who's the, who's the major power? Not gonna lie, it's kind of hard to tell. It's alright, though. I'll uh, get some of this stuff, too. Yes, you can. We're still pushing down. I know there's a lot of divisions down here, probably. But still. Anything else? Oh, look at that. Nice. Nice. Keep seeing their stuff. Alright, so everyone that still exists here... Well, realistically, we don't really need this area up here for now. We'll come back to it later. So, yeah. I'm gonna go do that, too. We should have him on the ropes, right? Oh, look at that. Nice. We saw, lost a sub, but... Oh, look, it's Thailand. Five heavy... They have a lot of heavy cruisers. Some more convoys. Uh, four carriers. Wow. Well, that is nice. Nice. Good stuff, my boys. Good stuff. Realistically, we don't need you over here anymore. Come back to Europe for now. You know what? Here. I, I want to do all around Endor, but we'll be okay. You guys heading over there anyways. You guys are doing a good job. Um, here, you guys can do Endor. It, I can't imagine Endor having an army, right? Right? When you're good to go, let's go in. Let's see what happens. Can we make the magic happen? Oh, boy. Nice. Convoys go bye-bye. I love it. Night vision is even better to have. Thank you. Looking really good. China's got too much territory, but we might betray them. But hey, shh. Don't tell the Chinese that. Anything else here? No? No, not yet. Not yet. I guess we can do some of this stuff. I don't really care about it. I think I read this one last time, so if you want to do this, please go ahead. So, I just, did, just didn't get it done. There you go. Go right on ahead. You'll be fine. Uh, for you guys here, just do this as well. Literally go all the way down if you can. Oh, that is not good for the ships now, is it? Well, we sunk quite a few of those screens, though. Oh, here comes our ships, though. Please find them. Please get involved. We got a lot of things here. Please blow them up. Are you arriving or are you leaving? It's hard to tell. Boy, we blew up 12 more destroyers, which is nice. You guys go. Please go. Okay, you're not going. Hey, you got helicopters too. That's kind of cool. Now they're going. I like that. Nice. Not bad. Japan's not too bad to take out. At least for, for now. But still. That was probably the easiest time I've ever taken out the Philippines. Holy cruddy daddies. So who's still alive besides Sionan? Like North Borneo, Sionan. That's literally it. Um, just in case. There you go. I guess you can keep boosting this up if you really want to. 273 is quite a bit, though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nice convoys go bye-bye. Find some more convoys go bye-bye. Yay! As soon as they land, we'll be able to attack them out. Oh, do you actually get an upgrade this time? Oh, you're level 7. That's not... It's very nice. Go on in, boys. Do them, do them dirty. Because if we're doing them, we want to do them dirty. I was driving behind a truck earlier and said... This thing is dirtier than my wife. And I was like, wow, this is really sad. But anyways, anyways. Just driving adventures with Hey, Mocha Lava. That's all. Nice. Nice. I mean, they're only destroyers. They're cheap to make, but still. It always feels good destroying enemy sh planes, right? And ships. Oh, see, has gone. Great! Seriously, what else do we need here? Um... North Borneo. I guess we're going to go to North Borneo, boys and girls. Hope y'all ready. Do we already have landing here? That's actually kind of cool. Are you guaranteed by anybody? Hopefully not. We'll just take you out here, too. We'll, we'll go to war with map of this as well, so. Operation Icarus. Oh, uh, we're okay. We're not doing that one. Fall Viking. And the Conquistador's footsteps. 
It's only around a few centuries ago that all of South America was ruled over by the higher European races, and has ever since been Europe's land by right of conquest. Unfortunately, through the combination of vicious native savages, weak willed European officials, or the breakup of the old empires, these lands left their masters feeders. This unfortunate travesty has reversed the work of the great men like Cortez and Pizarro, and has led to many degenerate governments led by men of low blood taking root and entrenching within the region. Or we'll retrace the footsteps of conquistadors, explorers, and bring these nations back under the rightful rulership of their superiors. Only this time, a German nation shall hold the reins, and they shall never let be let go. No, sir, never let them go. When in doubt, hug them really tightly and basically suffocate them so they cannot resist your rule. And but we suffocate them with love. Like I give them, I give them big love. I'll give you big love, man. That sounds really weird, but whatever. And they're just they're just walking through Asia. Actually, they're in Europe now. That's kind of nice. Yeah, who wants to navel invade? We can just just show up. All right, the camp very launch pad. I'm meeting with the boon, and into the trash it goes. The gun, second gunpowder plot. Whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. I just wondered about the Cape Verde launch pad, an invasion of the Iberian Peninsula. We took position of the Cape Verde Islands off the coast of the African continent. These islands in particular have long been used as supply and refueling stops. We can co-op them already existing facilities and repurpose them to serve as a major launch pad for the Kriegsmarine and Lufthansa and an invasion of South Africa. With us zero proximity to South America and already developed infrastructure, it will no doubt prove to be the linchpin of a war effort in our coming campaigns. Nice. Just in case, I don't know what this does. It's probably going to fail, but... Sing what ka Kawang. Sing Gawak Kong. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Gunpowder plot? Well, Robert McNamara is leading the country, but still. I'm not sure how I feel about that, I'll be honest. <laughs> oh, do they come back there? That sucks. Go, boys, go! Oh, they actually have divisions here, huh? Did you, did you land? Please don't get encircled here. Oh, we went the wrong way. The capital's up here now. Let's go, boys, go! Nice. So this should completely capitulate them, right? And we got them. Oh, God. Yeah, we did. It's lagging so hard we can't do anything nice. Very cool. I, I do want to go to Indonesia as well here, though. Honestly, do we need to capitulate Australia for... Capitulating the U.S. We might, we might need to. We might not, though. I'm not really sure. We'll see in the next episode, obviously. But there we go. A lucky failure. What a relief. So who do we have here? Alex Kumasara, Sud, Austasian. Look how happy that guy is. Ostindian. Heinz Kuhl. Alex Kumasara, Philippinen. Von Schroeter. The Republic of China still exists. Guangxi and all their stuff. The Tartary, of course, by Momert. Nord China. Oh, stuff. Von Stauffenberg. I thought you had someone else there too, as well. Hindustan. Oh. Ah, Hindustan. I love it. I love these little things. Now I get to betray people, right? Who is this? The Eastern Naval Authority. That's cool. Karl Jesko von Putkammer. Sounds very familiar. Rex Kumasar at Japan. Eric Top. Does he like Top and Korea? Altenberg. Wolfgang. Hello there. Honestly? I love the look of the Iron Hats back. It makes me so... It, it fills me with a lot of joy. Ah, uh, so nice. You're not even there over there yet. Okay, then. Um, honestly, can we just, like... Can I just set you guys here and just do that? Because I'm, I'm just going to use cons commands, because I used a lot of cons commands when I did this earlier, so... Um, we need supplies, that's fine. Especially, like, naval supplies. That's totally okay with me. Oh, I can't throw anything of that stuff there. That's fine, whatever. Not lacking any fuel, so let's go with allow Diplo and let's see what happens, big daddies and big mamas. And now it's going to lag extremely hard. It is what it is. I like to go to Endor. I might just do that off screen, though, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, cool. I think I want to save a lot of the conquesting for the next nation because at the time of this recording, it's about midnight, so I'm exhausted. So, um, yeah, I think I'll make the next episode quite a bit longer. I can't imagine taking out America would take too long. Especially once the enemy start ramming into your lines, but their navy is going to be kind of fearsome. Even though the Japanese navy wasn't too bad, we actually sunk quite a few carriers and capital ships. They have a lot of heavy cruisers. Which, I mean, America might have a lot of heavy cruisers too, but I'll have to double check. It's not nearly as big, I think I could be wrong about that, as the Japanese one, but I don't remember. I really don't. And it's 76. Actually, it's 76. Do we get to choose another 
president for the next, uh, well, another president will come by. Since we're here anyways, let's do this too. And you are a sub, there you go. Cool. Melee Peninsula. Uh, sort of good enough for now, it's fine. And here it comes, oh god, none of our allies joined in. There we go, now, now they're joining in. Go boys, go! How many divisions do they have? Oh, they have quite a few. They said in Indonesia no one cares. So China owns Tibet, but they're still under the Japanese here, which is weird. They have up to 32 divisions. We've killed off 24,000 of them. That's not bad. Have we killed them off yet? Cape Verde launch pad. Prepare for jungle warfare. Desert, mountain, arctic, all conditions which the glorious hair has fought and dominated him. And yet there's little, there's one biome in which we have pr precious little combat experience in. The jungle. Jungles dominate a good deal of both Central and South America. And to prepare campaigns in these regions, we must make sure our troops are equipped and prepared to handle the terrain and climate. While we in mainland Germany would never develop many techniques for dealing with such situations, we do have available one source that we can, albeit not with the best professionalism. Teach us. Sifi Müller, former Rex Commissar of Rex Commissar of Central Africa, who is now in Belgium, fled to us after Hutik's coup has since done little to actual value, except rule Belgium. This is his time to actually prove himself to the Reich following his failure to maintain order in Africa. Alright, boys, you ain't done yet. We still got a whole another group to take out over here. So there you go. And there you go. And there you go, cool. Keep going. All the way from here, all the way down there. Flood, baby, flood. Do it like that one mod name. Red Flood. Ah, oh, sink him and stink him, my friends. Ost Indian. I love it. Go, go, go. Depleted uranium munitions sounds extremely painful if you inflict that upon somebody. So that's why we're using it. All the way down, boys and girls. All the way down. Oh, God, I love transport helicopters. I don't know. I don't want them to remove them in the mod. By the time you're watching this, they might be removed, but probably not, but maybe. Oh. Hey, look over in. Nice. Keep going, boys. Jakarta's ours. We've lost how many? None versus 200,000? I think that's a great casualty ratio. Not good enough, but it was pretty good. Look at that. Just just flood. Just... Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Cut out the reinforcements. As we begin our glorious conquest of the South American continent, we will no doubt see, be opposed by our rivals who seek to attack us by proxy and possibly even directly. We must prevent them from reaching our targets long enough so that when they do come, we have our full attention. Uh, that's undivided, and can meet them in full force. Our subs will be given explicit orders to target incoming ships in the region regardless of affiliation. No guns or men shall come to the aid of our enemies while the Kriegsmarine are on duty. If America or Japan complain, we can always tell them that if it was an accident and can bank on an aversion to start another world war, to hold full-scale intervention off for some time. We did it! Oh, look at that, jungle divisions! 23 combat width! We got Kugel Panzers! Oh, I've gotta use them. Look at that, they even have transport helicopters, a scout helicopters, no attack helicopters, which is disappointing, but whatever, there you go. Have some good times, guys. Are you, are you actually, are you, oh, so nice, good job, guys. Here's a pat on the back. Just, just a pat on the back, nothing else. Um, would you like to come to Rome? Here, take a vacation in Rome, we'll go to the Vatican City, for, just for you guys, just for you guys. Cool! And once again, we're going to lag it super hard because why not? Andorra, I mean, I'm not sure if the Allies would really care about a stupid little state like Andorra after it's completely surrounded by Rex Commissariat, so it's a Barcelona or whatever, Catalonia. It's fine, whatever. But yeah, I think the next episode, I'm going to going to have to, we're going to start invading South America quite a bit, so it is what it is. Um, yeah, it's going to be just going straight up through South America to Central America to the Caribbean. Straight up to the American border and probably invade Canada beforehand, too, so we can launch from two sides. Even though the American Navy, like I said, is just probably massive. Just, just thick. I mean, our Navy's not bad either, but still. Still. Cool. Gives a little bit more time, and Andorra should be ours. I think I might need a few more focuses, too, instead of doing this. I, I'll probably just do these off-screen. Thank you very much. Thank God. And let's go on in. Look at all those guys. I love... That's so nice having allies sometimes. Sometimes. And let's go in. And who gets called in? We won! Did you know we won? Oh, that's so difficult. We can betray the hand and destroy Burma. No. Well, we're pretty much done with that then. 
If we don't have to kill off China, they're with us for now. That's kind of okay with me, but let's read a few more focuses. So Jazz Fall, Amazon. Ooh, Brazil. Ooh, we'll probably do that one. Starting off, Brazil is the only South American nation that has a chance of actually putting up a significant fight against an invasion. But only if it's able to mobilize. That's why we must quickly and decisively eliminate it. A victory only secured through a protracted campaign through the jungles a little better than defeat at this point. The attrition from disease and lack of supply would likely dwarf losses in combat by a significant degree, or so sure as explained. Our main target should be the region of the mouth of the mighty Amazon in the north and the statue states of Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo in the south. They effectively wiped out the Brazilian military is likely sta staging areas at once. While we ought to handle this assault with a little more caution than with its neighbors, we should also not become too timid. We should also remember that, after all, we are the world conquering warriors of Germany. There's no nation too big or too fall to our swords. Cool. Awesome. And I'll, we'll do the only plot Germain. I think I read this one, so. Asia belongs to the Fatherland. Germanian cherry blossoms? That'd be kind of cool. The streets of Germania will be full of cherry blossoms of victory. That actually sounds really cool. And Pacific dominance? I like that as well, so. And what focus are we doing right now? Why is it taking so long? Of course, it's kind of laggy. We have so many nations here in the. In the game still. Five days left. Ah, we can wait a little bit. Only clouds remain. Cool. You guys are good? Um, ooh. That is not good. Oh, you're just still... Just trying to get over there, which makes sense. You guys probably looking... Actually, not terrible. Um, Realistically, I do want you guys to invade, so... Uh, let's do this. We're going to have to boost you guys up a little bit more. We'll go there. Go from there to there. At least as long as one group lands. That's all I care about. So, yeah. Go, boys, go. You're going to do a fun booty job. Nice. And let the clouds go kaboom. Yes, please. I... Yeah, I don't care. Do not care um, about... Come on. Just get get over with. Come on. Um, Australasia. If we have to do them next time, so be it. So... Go we'll head on over to here too. There you go. Nice. Head on over here too. Nice. And just in case, let's start just build just a mammoth amount of naval bases here. That's fine. Look at all that lag. Oh, it's so bad. But let's go ahead and keep going on. Only clouds remain. And we'll talk about German cherry blossoms, to our victors the spoils. Japan is rich in culture and produces a plethora of rich and beautiful pieces of art. A Fuhrer, Herr the Connoisseur, has already picked out several treasures that he would like to add to his personal collection. The building of Japan shall begin in earnest. Industrial machinery, valuable metals, and more shall be all brought back to the benefits of all Germans. But if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we'll have already begun the invasion of the Americas. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.